hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i wanted to take this opportunity uh to do a reading about a uh, former aoa 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 members i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not fashioning well today with the with the um with pronunciation i apologize uh with uh mina and jimmy's uh scandal i know that uh, there's uh, a lot of commotion in, in the K-pop community because of uh, the bullying that um, that Mina suffered for so long uh, because of Jimin. Uh, so I wanted to do a tarot reading to see what's, what's going on actually because I was uh, looking that I, I was watching a news that they talked that some netizens are uh recently feeling a bit like um not so supportive of Mina because it's like she keeps like um talking to to Jimin in a very like um consistent uh, way of uh, trying to get Mina to talk to her or to respond to her and somehow she's not getting an answer and this is making her like being very persistent and some uh, some netizens opinions is that she's taking things uh, in, in, in a way that it's like too much like so let's dive in a little bit what the tarot has to say about it of course before we uh, start this interpretation, uh, I want you to have in mind that we have to be respectful, that of course we weren't there, we, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not uh, um, fully informed about what happened in the group all these years because I haven't followed them, so I don't know much. But let's just use this as an interpretation. And if you, if maybe some of, of you that are actually watching this, if you have some kind of insight or if you have some kind of information or feedback about the situation, I would love to 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 read you because uh, we are learning here we are also talking about energy so please don't take uh, things like like to be always objective be always uh, have like some kind of critical thinking and always be open with heart and mind because we are talking about two people here human uh, people that you know that we go through different changes different uh, facets facets in our life different faces so we are not here to judge we are here to understand a bit about what's going on um so i wanted to start by talking a bit about their energies in an astrological way um the only thing i colored was the sun and the moon um, so I'm going to base on that in a very general basis because I don't want this to take too long. Um, so Mina, it's uh, a Virgo sun with a moon in Sagittarius. And Jimin, it's a Capricorn sun with uh, a moon in Libra. So... Um, Actually, if I see, for example, that the two of them are, are earth signs, because Virgo and Capricorn, they tend to get along pretty well, especially when the environment has to do with uh, profession. Um, but of course, that here there's like... There's like a, a difference when it comes to the approach. For example... I have the feeling that when it comes to Jimin, um, she has a lot of cardinal energy in the sense that Capricorn is a cardinal sign and Libra, that is her moon sign, it's also a Capricorn. Uh, it, I'm sorry, it's also a cardinal sign. So it means that she can come off as really bossy and that she feels really good inside, uh, like being a leader to others. It's like... She feels like some kind of uh, emotional reward or emotional pleasure um, when she is in control of things or when she is 
in a position of power or in, in a position where she feels like everyone uh, is paying attention to her. So I think that she could probably be like too comfortable with being the leader or too comfortable with being in a position of power. So this could potentially give her like this kind of attitude of of herself thinking that she is better than anyone. In, in, in the sense that she could position herself in, as with this attitude of I know it everything. And also I noticed that she has a lot of air and earth energy in her chart. So there's no uh, there's no uh, water signs in her birth chart. So she could potentially be very mental, very <coughs> very intellectual, very <coughs> um it's like her her whole persona uh she she bases on results uh, and she also bases on a lot of thoughts. So she could be really good with words, especially at convincing people. And at the same time, she could be also a bit cold when it comes to emotional matters because she doesn't have like this deepness that when you have water placements, you can be uh, a bit more in touch with the the more emotional side of or probably you been having like a better report of what or being more empathic to others. So I don't see her actually, I see her very inflexible in that sense. But uh, and also with um, I don't want to um, I don't want to this moon, moon in Libra people, uh, but I have met a few moon in Libra people and they tend to be uh, a bit um superficial and they tend to be um they just have these feelings because since libra is ruled by uh by venus and also libra is all about balance and about justice sometimes they do have this perception of themselves as being really fair or being really neutral so they have this this idea of themselves as they that they know what's right and they know what's wrong and they they and they also are very like like a shape shifter in the sense that they they change their, their mind pretty often and also one day they can be really mean to you and at the other day they can act like um like they don't know you or like they don't know what you're talking about. So if you felt offended or if you got hurt because of a Moon in Libra comment, they would probably be like, oh, I don't understand why why you're saying this. If I'm so considerate, if I always consider everyone, like they tend to be a bit, I'm, I wouldn't say like lying, but it's, is that their sense of um, justice or maybe then being able to be very uh, like, um, like, you know, like the balance that it's always like moving and it's always adapting. Their energy, emotional energy tend to be like that. You know, like like they are very proud of their sense, especially if they are in a place of power. Of course, this adds more a prideful feeling to what they do or what they say. So it's like if you want to talk to them and actually let them know that they, that they hurt you somehow, um, you are not going to get an apology for them because they're always going to be like this kind of person that manipulates the narrative or manipulates the conversation in order for for you to be feeling guilty about you actually considered or even thinking that she hurt your feelings. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but it's like she turns always the tables in order to make you feel guilty about what you think of her. You know, especially Moon in Libra people tend to be really good, very 
diplomats and they tend to be really good with relationships especially with people around them they can be really charming and really convincing so probably this is why she would probably be mean to one of them and actually be nice to the others so this is why maybe the others didn't react when they had to because they were like oh if i have to think about it actually jimmy is really nice to me so i don't know I wouldn't be able to say something bad about her or to complain about her because when it comes to my experience, she had always been nice to me. But it's like it's like this double standard, you know, like in a sense, you know that uh, what she's doing to this specific member is, is, is wrong, but at the same time, you fear for yourself because you are like, okay, if I say something, maybe she will turn against me or maybe she will be mean to me too. This is what happens when you have a bully uh, in your in your group, especially in a group. You know, the bully is someone uh, that uh, is very intelligent intellectually. They definitely know what the right things to say, and they know how to communicate in order to be always in charge of the narrative or to be always in charge of. Um, it's like you will never win an argument with them because they will always have like an answer or they will always have like the quick response to manipulate uh, your perception and make you feel like you are the one that is wrong for accusing them. So this is a very delicate uh, subject. This is a very delicate dynamic that even though the other members maybe didn't react in that moment because of fear or because of feeling intimidating or because of feeling confused. At the same time, I believe that they also, because they were part of this environment, of this, um, of this atmosphere of tension, they could potentially also be victims of the situations even though they didn't do anything because they just some of them or i don't know who or if it were all of them or some of them didn't react to defend uh, mina actually they are all victims as well because is this in this non-action actually it's not that they didn't act or didn't react because they didn't care for Mina. It's just that because they were fearful for themselves. So when you think about a victim of bullying, you also have to think that the other people that were involved, that somehow didn't react, they were acting from a place or reacting from a place of fear as well. So there's some psychological damage there as well. And there's a trauma there as well. Because then they also live with the with this feeling of guilt because it's like they know that they they try to defend themselves by probably like um like leaving mina alone or leaving mina unprotected or leaving mina on her own but at the same time they they hurt themselves at in, in that process so this is why I say that we don't have to judge the people involved in here because bullying is a very systematic and it's a very a slow process. This is why it makes sense that this went on for like 10 years because this is not like every day she was doing this, uh, these kinds of interactions with Mina. This is like a slow-paced uh um, gestures, words, uh, feedback. Uh, um, this is this is made very strategically and very like, uh, and and it takes a time. And also, uh, it's very uncomfortable for the people that that are involved because they think that they are not involved because actually they are like, oh, thank God that is that. I don't know that Jimmy is, is not uh, is not uh, been mean to me. She's been mean. This is happening to someone else. It's not happening to me. But actually, it is happening. Is it is happening to them because they are being intimidated by her, and it's this fear of oh, I'm not going to say anything because she would probably 
uh, attack me if I say something. It's this fear and this tension of you not wanting to get involved, but actually you are involved because you are protecting yourself. You are on the defensive. This is why there's, there's tension because you know that your your body, it's like you have a physical reaction to this these kinds of things it's like maybe you are not participating active and actively and you are not reacting but your body feels the threatened your body feels threatened and your body and your your mind just shuts down and you probably are not even present probably you are in that room and you are not even listening you are not looking you are not paying attention because you know that it's it's like a survival mode and it's also it's like you being in this defensive mode because you are trying to protect yourself just in case. Because with a bully, you never know when it's going to be you. This happens, uh, it not only happens in school, it happens at, at a work environment that is called mobbing. So, you know, it, and, and, and unfortunately, there are, uh, in the, it happens with, with people present or people involved in the, in, in the scenario. It, it it isn't that that the that the bully goes like alone and and, it, and that Jimin just goes straight to Mina and like like meets her alone and she attacks her. No, it's it's like she does it in front of everyone because she needs an audience, and it's like she's like okay, let's see how far I can go without anyone saying anything. So yes, it's it's really. It's really painful, it's, it's really sad, and it's really traumatic. So this is why I say we have to be respectful. So let's go with the tarot cards. Mina got um, the Lovers, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of... Um, the Ace of Pentacles. So, um, yes, I think that Mina just wants an apology. This is what I see. Mina just wants to... She wants to make um, make demands. She wants to get to an agreement. She wants to have some kind of exchange. She thinks that if Jimin doesn't react to her, it's like she's still denying that this is uh, is happening. So, of course, that... Um, that Mina, it's it's in a place where um, she's not okay in the sense that her mind is not in the right place because she she's supposed to be resting, but her mind is not resting. Her body may be resting, but her mind is working really fast. And she just wants to, she wants an apology. I think that also what happens because she has a moon in Sagittarius and when you have a moon in Sagittarius sometimes when it comes to speeches or for example this about communicating online or about uh, making um, a post or uh, posting something on the web they tend to be really um, uh, exuberant when it comes to posting or being opinionated or somehow it's like probably you can see this moon in Sagittarius trying to be, maybe this is why people think that maybe it's too much because she's like, probably she's like texting too much or sending too much messages or sending very long messages because Sagittarius is the planet of expansion. So definitely it's like she doesn't have a filter. It's like now that she can express herself and that she knows that she has the, the attention of people, uh, she wants to speak her truth and somehow speaking her truth can be a bit awkward because it's like it's public and it's like everyone is reading that you are like almost like obsessively talking about the same thing over and over or, or talking about your <clears throat> your bully over and over and it's like it's like like uh, it's like I think that maybe people what find a bit awkward or a bit off about this situation is the fact that she seems to be bullying Jimin or like um, being a stalker to Jimin or being like uh, obsessive towards Jimin in order to get a response. So it's like, who is the bully now? And this is also very normal 
in people that suffer from from bullying or from some kind of emotional abuse is that somehow there this anger that she held inside herself for so long that she she that she is like she swallowed all this anger all this frustration so this is why now she's being like a, probably a bit too much like exaggerated almost like expression of how she's really feeling about the situation and that she wants justice um and yes she can look like a bit like too much but it's is her way to deal with all all these years of herself trying to um because you also have to think that she is a virgo son so definitely when you think about a virgo son having someone in power telling her that she is not that she's not good enough that she's making that she's not making things right that she is that she that she's not useful that, you know for virgo people uh criticism or critics or it's very hard for them to let go of those things because they are very critical on themselves so uh, in the case of 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 uh Mina I imagine that probably she had always had this uh fear of the rejection or this fear of criticism probably because she had dealt with some kind of like a uh, low self esteem that we all go through this and if you add to this situation or this way of feeling about yourself having someone that you have to interact with and that you have to to listen to because she is like the leader so it's like you have to pay attention uh because it's part of the job and you have to listen to her like attacking you as a person you know you it's, it's like she took it very far uh, um Jimmy I mean uh because she 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 attacked um Mina as a person not as a professional you know so this is why mina even though the group is 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 not active uh and and and, and jimmy is is done with her career probably for forever um is for her is not enough because the damage that is been done to them it has to do with her with her person with herself with with her vision of as a person so it's like how does she get this back Uh, of course i i'm really amazed and i'm really like not happy that there isn't uh like uh, a mental health counselor or a psychologist someone that can like provide some kind of assistance to this to this young woman and been like uh, just advise her to get out of the internet uh, or of of the of the social media because actually social media and and being on the internet and being connected to the internet actually is very toxic for these people that actually are trying to find some kind of sense to what happened to them and it's like they're constantly like be reminded that there's something wrong about them and it's like they are reliving their history and they're suffering over and over uh and and this is why i think that she cannot stop because she needs someone she needs someone that can be like okay you need to let go of the phone you know you need to do some kind of activity that actually you can focus on yourself just leave leave that that person alone but here with with this uh because the 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 less the less card that i see here with for her and her view of the of the of the of jimmy and the and the um um and 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 the interaction between the two of them i think that this also has to do with money because i see the ace of the ace of pentacles so she definitely is waiting patiently because i think that she wants to there's something about money here and i think that she's going to get it and i think that she's going to be successful in that uh there's something about money so probably she's pushing a bit because there's like some kind of arrangement that they can do like when it comes to economy 
but she wants to get to an agreement. And this is why she needs uh, Jimmy to answer her back. Because uh, let's go with Jimmy. Let's go how Jimmy views this situation. She has the two of wands, the moon, and the queen of um, the queen of cups. So definitely um, the king of cups. Cups. Sorry. Um, definitely uh, Jimmy has lost a lot. And she's not. She's in a very dark moment, but she's trying to hold on there. She's trying to. This is why I think that this is uh, actually her moon in Libra that actually doesn't acknowledge that w what she did was wrong. I think that she's still holding on because the two of wands also represents like you having dominion over what's happening to you. I think that even though she feels a bit she feels very depressed she feels really she feels really fearful she is she's really afraid uh for her safety so i don't know if maybe she got some threats or something like that she's very fearful probably she doesn't sleep very well but at the same time she doesn't move from from her position of herself like believing what she did she did what she had to do or something like that and also i believe that she also um she also lost a special connection with someone because I see the King of Cups here. So probably I don't know if she was married or in a relationship with someone that actually this person walked away from her or left her. And I think that this is what actually what she what she suffers the most to to, lo to lose this this connection with this man. I see that it's a man uh, because she was like having a like a stable relationship with this person and she probably had feeling with this person and and she somehow lost him because of this uh of these accusations and she i think that she she lost actually not only this person but i think that she lost a lot of her emotional support i mean this as family friends i think that a lot of people actually uh, walk away from her, like distance themselves from her. Um, probably not everyone, but there's like a, an emotional distance here. There's like, like okay, I'm staying by your side, but I still cannot believe what you did. Like, how can you, how can you do that? So definitely, I think that she is like living some kind of nightmare because it's like she. She may not be very emotional, but at the same time, she had always had people like, quote unquote, supporting her, like, uh, like being around her, like telling her that I think that I have the feeling that she had always been really spoiled ever when she, even when she was younger. I don't know if she's an only child or what, but she had always been someone's favorite. So she had this is why she had this huge ego this huge perception of herself knowing what's right and knowing that um, there's a bit of pride here. And so I think that she feels a bit scared because she's losing a lot of people that she actually care about. She's losing that the, these people's uh, love and appreciation. So she definitely feels bad in a sense of her how emotional she can be you know because I, like I said she doesn't have I'm not saying that she doesn't have emotions or feelings it's just that it's not easy for her to actually get in touch with this but I think that this being fearful and this about actually feeling a bit like lonely I think that it has to do with her actually connecting a bit about what it feels like to feel helpless or to feel really deep so let's go with the cars um, as an overall. Uh, um, so sh they got the three of wands, the ten of wands, and the nine of swords. So I see a lot of resistance, a lot of uh, fighting here. I don't see actually that this, they will come to an agreement. Uh, but it will be over I wouldn't say this year but probably next year because there's a lot of resistance here there's a lot of pride there's a lot of anger also from both parts and I think that 
uh, it would also talk about the anger of of the public also i think that the the public is also is is also feeling uncomfortable by mina's comments and stuff because this is taking too long to actually get to an agreement so it's like the public is getting bored or is somehow it's like they don't see the point of actually reading mina or or or, or listening to her talk about Jimin because she, they are like okay but what's what's the outcome to this and I see that there's a lot of resistance so there's a lot of resistance and there's people that is getting upset but it's like it's like uh, this article said they are they are turning they are changing their minds they are changing their opinions because of this resistance you know because of of this like um of this like constant conflict and battle that doesn't have like it, it it it's not that it it's meaningless or it doesn't have a purpose but it's just that you don't see where the parts involved want to get you know you don't see what what's the point of this and um, for example in the case of of mina like they think that mina should be a bit more like um objective about what what do you want from this situation what do you want from Jimmy? uh but just like ask for it now and just like solve it because it's like people want to move on because they obviously uh but there's also people that actually feel a bit like frustrated with the situation because themselves had gone through very uh uh also uh, very uh, painful situations of bullying so this is why some people are like okay I was a victim too and I move on or something like that uh, so there's like this this double standard actually of people of the people's reaction like yes I know that you went through hell but I went through the same or I went through something even harsher or even more traumatic than you did and i'm moving on so why can you something like that so i think that definitely uh there will be a battle still i don't see them like coming to an agreement and i don't see any of the parts actually uh getting to a place of healing themselves or healing this this part of their lives i think that is going to take a while to heal uh and i think that definitely mina should should focus more on her own personal journey on her own personal process to to actually achieving this kind of healing um because i think that she is focused more on on the exterior instead of i mean on the other part instead of focusing on herself and i know that it can be painful to focus on herself because she probably is in a place where she doesn't even know who she is anymore it's like it's going to take a while for her to to reconnect with all parts of herself forgive herself accept herself and actually find some kind of meaning so this is why uh she definitely needs to have more people involved in this uh mental process of her and actually being more proactive and take care of her they cannot leave her alone like but not just like being like telling her what to do just assist her assist her like like make her like uh give her a place where she can like talk about this but in manage this in a very um intimate way because i know this is about both sides are are involved but at the same time uh she needs to heal she needs to heal because i don't think she's going to get from jimin what she wants because jimin is is standing very strong where she is She's seeing what she lost. Of course, she's not. She's not dumb. She knows. She knows that she messed up. Uh, but at the same time, I feel her like 
that, that she doesn't have this level of awareness where she's like, oh, yes, I'm sorry. So this is probably something that actually maybe made Mina more upset about the situation because probably she had an apology from, from Jimmy and it wasn't, she didn't feel like it was profound or that it was felt or that it was honest. So, you know, she. I think that she, she still feels like there's a part of Mina that somehow is still laughing and trying to uh, ridicule her in some in some way, and she feels very hurt. She feels really hurt, but she needs to move on because she needs to find the tools to get out of this dark place where she is. Because I don't think the public is going to give her this. No, it's not, and Jimmy neither. So she needs to find. Uh, find the tools and find the resources within herself with the help of a professional, of course. So this is all I have for them. I hope that you uh, uh, appreciate this reading. And if you please, if you like it, please give it a like. And if some of you are probably fans of of uh, or of the former group, uh, I would appreciate some kind of feedback because I don't know much about. All I know is that the situation happened between them um so uh, i would love to hear from you and what is your perception of and your insight about this situation that is very unfortunately it's very unfortunate so i will see you guys in the next video bye